Have you ever met the connector? Well, he ponders, he helps, he creates, he writes, he speaks. He basically connects people and brings them together. I speak about Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group. At psandallmarketinggroup.com, you will receive an assembled group of Paul's contacts and connections that cross into many sectors of life. Please contact Paul Solano at 617-240-4130 or psandallmarketinggroup at gmail.com if you are in the market for a wide array of services. Again, please contact The Connecta, Paul Solano at 617-240-4130 or psandallmarketinggroup at gmail.com with any questions. And now... Here's Paul Solano, the host of Paul Ponders. Welcome to Paul Ponders. My name is Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group, and I may be reached via email at paul at paulponders.com. Thank you for joining me for my foray into podcasting. It is great to be collaborating with my friend and associate, Chalonzo Amos of Pod Pro Entertainment, to bring you some fun, exciting, and informative podcasts. For many years, I've been referred to as the connector, or in greater Boston circles, as the connector. With psandallmarketinggroup.com, I've created a side gig to connect you and get things done. Please sit back and relax and listen to today's podcast. If you are driving or operating heavy machinery and just listening, then please just listen and stay focused on your task at hand. Thanks again for listening. Enjoy my ponderings. Let hashtag Paul Ponders begin. Greetings, everyone. How is everyone doing? Welcome to another episode of Paul Ponders. Hashtag Paul Ponders. And as always, I just want to thank you all. You know, I say it every time, but I really, really mean it. I want to thank you for rating, subscribing, reviewing, spreading the word of Paul Ponders. Hashtag Paul Ponders to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been working out really well. And sometimes I just ponder. I always ponder. I really do. And it's something that I think about at certain times. What is going on in this world? And I have a recent episode out there uh, available on Spotify and all the networks, all the platforms that have really been made possible by the fine work of Pod Pro Entertainment. Techie Talonzo, have to give a shout out to Techie Talonzo behind the curtain. Great job. It's been great partnering with you, collaborating with you on so many wonderful, wonderful podcasts that we've had thus far. But as I said, you know, just pondering about a past episode we had on immediate gratification as I look at the clock. Promise not to be too long on this episode. I'll sort of be like that attorney that briefly responds. Ha ha. But anyways, we'll just talk about that mini gratification episode. Don't eat the marshmallows yet. I hope you all tune into that. If you have not tuned into that episode, go over that five marshmallow plan. Already, the five-step plan. Go over that five-step marshmallow plan. We talked about immediate gratification. I commented, I joked, but I really was um, pretty vociferous, we'll say, about clang, clang, clang. What was that? Was that a trolley going through the Lechmere station? No, that was the Celtics insisting that they could throw up three-point attempts and expect to hit every one of them to win the championship. It wasn't happening. It wasn't happening, at least advancing against Denver wonder, I ponder how they would have done against Denver if they had beaten the Miami Heat. But that's a story for a different day. Media gratification, just wondering about that. People, you know, they want results. Well, one thing that I want to talk about as I ponder is what is going on in this world where people just want to just get immediate service at, we'll say, the Dunkin' Donuts counter. They rush right in, they bypass the line, and just place their order. 
they go to the head of the line. They don't go through the stanchions, and then they go up to the counter. And then they tell the server, the clerk, what they want. And they bypass the whole line. Like, what's up with that? What up with that, as they say? Wow, what is happening? Is that the ultimate in wanting immediate gratification to just go to the front of the line? That is so rude. Why is some people doing that? It's crazy. Road rage. Road road rage is another thing. All right, traveling down a street, local street, speed limit is 25 miles an hour. And maybe a different podcast would be okay about the the street speed limit being 25 miles, you know, throughout a municipality, whatever that municipality is. Going down, the people who are driving are in such a rush, okay, not respecting the rules of the road and going out, swerving, going around the car, swerving and going in and out like it's a raceway and almost causing head-on collisions. What up with that? What's up with these um, people? Are they under the influence? Are they really seeking immediate gratification to get to their next destination as soon as possible? What is happening out there? Right on reds. I'm sorry if I'm being negative here, but I'm just pondering what is going on with, with some people who are seeking the immediate gratification of wanting to go around a car park on the, we'll say the intersection of Route 60, heading westbound. And there's obviously a right on, no right on red sign. What's happening there? Where they're honking their horn and they are being really, really obnoxious. And they're yelling out the window, come on, come on, you could turn right, you could turn right. It's just like, well, quite honestly, I'm not, I'm not going to break the law. I'm going to obey those traffic rules. And then they go out, go around the car, and there's a police officer right there stopping them and pulling them over and citing them for doing the wrong thing. Justice served. So that's all I'm pondering right now. I'm sure I'll be thinking about how people just really want immediate gratification, how they just want to get X amount of money on their shift at work. They all those all those things we hear. No one's ever happy. No one's really happy with what's going on. They just don't see the fact that, hey, today was a bonus day. You woke up, you're here, you're present. Show up for the game. Bring your A game every day. That's what I try to do. I try to bring my A game every day. I'm in the study lineup today. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to another episode of Hashtag Paul Ponders. I give the plug. I thank Talonzo, Techie Talonzo. Pod Pro Entertainment. I give the plug for PS and All Marketing Group and all the great guests we've had so far with this wonderful journey that we're on. But really, everyone, thank you. Thank you sincerely for listening to hashtag Paul Ponders. Hashtag indeed. I trust that you have enjoyed hashtag Paul Ponders. Again, my name is Paul Solano of PS and All Marketing Group, and I may be reached via email at paul at paulponders.com to do some more pondering. Many thanks to my longtime collaborative friend and associate, Alonzo Amos of Pod Pro Entertainment, in bringing you our fun, exciting, and informative podcast. You rock, Techie Chalonzo. With PNS and All Marketing Group, I created a side gig to connect you and get things done. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me at paul at paulponders.com with any questions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Paul Ponders. Follow us on Twitter at Paul Ponders Pod. Follow us on Instagram at Paul Ponders Podcast. Thank you again for listening to Hashtag Paul Ponders, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, our website, paulponders.com, or wherever you stream your podcasts. Subscribe, stream, 
rate and review our shows. Your ratings and reviews help our show reach new audiences. Produced by Pod Pro Entertainment. Hashtag Paul Ponders lives within a network of podcasts located at podproentertainment.com. Hashtag the new radio. Until we meet again, my friend, stay well. Hashtag indeed.